Hey, what's up everybody? So this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be scripted, but I wanted to get this out there because I really, really, really need your help and I need the support from the YouTube community because I don't know if it's QAnon people or YouTube, but it's something's crazy is going on. So if you saw the video I uploaded on I don't know, what was it, Friday or last Wednesday? It was about QAnon actively telling people not to wear masks and telling people that COVID-19 is a hoax, that this pandemic is a hoax, right? And here at this channel, obviously, I try to help people critically think and debunk conspiracies, right? Like we have a pandemic that is killing millions and millions of people around the world. Like my son can't even go to school. He's doing distance learning because of this pandemic. And you have a group who is telling people that this is a hoax and they shouldn't wear a mask. And at this rate, we're all gonna be staying inside until a vaccine is coming out. So I put out a video called Debunking Insane QAnon COVID Conspiracy Theories. Yesterday, I received an email from YouTube, the first time ever, saying that my video violated YouTube's community guidelines. Now stay with me because I'm a little confused. This might be a little confusing. So the email says, our team has reviewed your content and unfortunately we think it violates community guidelines. We've removed the content from YouTube and it shows debunking insane QAnon COVID conspiracy theories. It says, we know that this might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we made an error, you can appeal it. And we'll get to that in a second. And we'll take another look, keep reading for more details. So it says, how your channel violated the policy. So pay attention to this part. YouTube doesn't allow content that explicitly disputes the efficacy of the World Health Organization or local health authorities recommended guide, uh, guidance on social distancing and self-isolation that may lead people to act against that guidance. All right, so they're saying that they will not let videos stay up that are against what the World Health Organization is saying or what local health authorities are saying. saying. So my video was debunking a video that's telling people not to wear masks and not to social distance. What's crazy about this is that that video from QAnon is still up, even though my video was saying that it was wrong. So this is saying that my video was taken down because it goes against, which is an error. So yesterday I was pretty optimistic. I'm an optimistic guy. I'm like, okay, I'll appeal this. They'll look at this and they'll be like, oh, 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 this is saying to wear masks. This is saying that we should social distance and that we shouldn't listen to a far right conspiracy group. So I figured that's what would go down with the appeal, but my appeal was just rejected. And if you remember, how I was saying this is a little confusing. Well, for those of you who don't know, this is in the back end of YouTube. This is what us creators see in the back. And it shows that I got a warning, okay? So it's not a legitimate strike, but it says, if this happens again, your channel will get a community guideline strike. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week, all right? And those of you who don't know about these community guideline strikes, if you get three of them, your channel gets deleted. So like I said, I was a little bit worried, but I was like, this is just a mistake. This is an error. They're gonna fix it once I appeal. But as you can see right here, they, they rejected my appeal. But what's weird is, remember how in the other screenshot, it said that it was taken down for going against the World Health Organization. Well, here it says impersonation. It says the policy that I went against was impersonation. And what's impersonation mean? It says, Content intended to impersonate a person or channel is not allowed on YouTube. YouTube also enforces trademark holder rights when a channel or content in the channel causes confusion about the source of goods and services advertises, it may not be allowed. So they're saying that my video impersonated. I was me. I was me. I was Chris from The Rewired Soul, the same as I've been since I started this channel. And if anything, I did voiceover with clips from QAnon and other sources. 
So both angles, the angle where they're saying it goes against the World Health Organization, the angle where they're saying it's impersonation, none of it adds up. And like I said, I was optimistic that once I appealed it and someone reviewed it, it would be fine, right? But now I'm a little freaked out because it says the appeal was rejected. So what happens next? And yeah, like I said, I made this video because I, I need your guys' help. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed out because usually when something like this happens, the whole YouTube community and YouTube creators get together and, you know, they try to, you know, get this fixed and help support the creator, but I'm not getting much traction. Um, Donna from Psych IRL, she retweeted me yesterday. Roberto Blake retweeted me yesterday. I've been talking to a few creators and DMs and they're trying to, you know, talk to me and see what we can do and things like that, but I need some eyeballs on this. So what can you do if you're watching this? Help me out. Like yesterday I tweeted at people like, Philip DeFranco because he's he he tells the right news about COVID and I tweeted at uh, Real Dr. Mike um, on Twitter. He's Dr. Mike on YouTube and he's putting out the proper uh, YouTube um, or COVID information. Uh, some more news, if any of you watched that, they did a video on QAnon, I referenced it in my video, uh, Cody Johnson. I tagged all these people in the tweet hoping to get some like bigger creators to help out on this and I haven't heard anything back yet. I also tagged uh, Ethan Klein from Ace3A3 Productions because a lot of these creators are against these um, YouTubers and influencers who are going out and partying. Uh, for example, Jarvis Johnson just made a video on this. I tagged him. Uh, Leon Lush has made videos about uh, people refusing to wear masks in public. So I tagged Leon Lush. I'm trying to get the attention of some people who care about this because I said it in the video on my second channel yesterday and I'll say it again. It is scary to think that YouTube will keep up videos that are telling people not to wear masks, that are telling people not to social distance, that are telling people that COVID is a hoax. They will leave those videos up, but my video trying to spread awareness, get out the right information and teaching people how to look at these claims and critically think about them, that video was taken down. Like that should worry us. And I just made a video about the slippery slope fallacy and I don't wanna go down that route, but if we, like even one video, like my video didn't have that many views. It had like 1.4 thousand, 1.5 thousand, but that was potentially 1,500 people who had the correct information like, oh, maybe I should wear my mask. Oh, hey, maybe COVID is bad. So we need to lift up videos like what Dr. Mike's doing, what Philip DeFranco's doing, what some more news is doing. Like we need to lift up videos that are telling people to be safe so we can get out of this pandemic and hopefully save some lives. But like I said, meanwhile, QAnon's videos are still up. So I don't know, I wanted to bring some attention to this. Um, for all of my rewired soldiers out there watching this, the way that you can help is just like tag creators. If you've seen creators talk about these influencer parties or COVID or QAnon or whatever it is like, tag them, tweet at them, try to share this video. Like, I just need some more eyeballs because I've been on YouTube for a couple years now and something that I've noticed is when a situation like this gets attention, something happens. But right now I'm not, you know, reaching that many people. So anything that you guys can do to help would be greatly appreciated. Any fellow creators out there, if you could spread the word, um, because this is this is crazy. And like I said, I just wanna end on this and say, I don't know if QAnon is behind this. I'm not a thousand percent sure if they reported this or not, but I will say this. Like, I am a pro, a pro free speech person. If QAnon wants to go out there, like it, it walks a fine line of free speech, like yelling fire in a crowded room. But, but like I said, it's a fine line. But if they're going to be allowed to spread this information and say their opinions and their conspiracies, we should be able to have videos with the counterpoints on those and have those lifted up because it's the proper scientific information. So anyways, any help that you can give me would be greatly appreciated. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram at The Rewired Soul. And uh, yeah, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of scared to post another video because I don't know, like right now, I'm just like, will any of my videos stay up? But anyways, um, I'll keep you posted, but follow me over on social media and uh, stay up to date when the next video is coming.